sticking to her guns and not backing down on Shortland Street. We are all good to go. This is Anita, Ben's sister. It's just so hard to accept. What? That we've lost him. Stop but... it! Anita! No! My brother is still alive. How can you not? <laughs> okay. So, translated into computer spares, I'm going to take your computer system and marry it to yours. So then you'll have a nice new computer system for your practice. How long will it take? Well, it should be up and running by the time you open. Should be. <laughs> will be. Excellent. You're worth every penny paid. I'm not getting paid. Daniel doesn't mind helping out. Well, he's going to be a family man soon. It's important he's earning. That's easy to say when it'll be me and TK forking out. Perhaps, but as grandparents, we should do all we can. Um, can we go easy on the G word, please? I haven't quite got my head around that. Look me in the voice. Oh, sweet. Cheers, guys. Hmm. You really do like leaving things to the last minute, don't you? What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're hardly prepared. No, no stationery printed, no signage, no practice nurse. Now, I did give you Janice's details over a week ago. Yes, and I have organised an interview for tomorrow. Good. And you might want to have a word with Henry, too. His rooms are still empty. Well, we can't have him moving in while we're up and running. As soon as he pays me some rent, where all systems go. Oh, dear. <laughs> So, are you going to fess up or not? About what? My footage. Now that we're playing nicely and everyone's needs are being respected, I think it's about time you hand it over. As I mentioned, I have no idea where it is. End of topic. Okay. So what should we talk about? You are capable of discussing things other than medicine. Well, it has been known to happen occasionally. Oh, good. So I start the ball rolling. Personal life. Thanks to your son, we've established that you're single and a womanizer. <laughs> Sounds like just my sort of fun. Mm, it's endless, I swear. If it's not some idiot sales rep pestering me, it's Reuben nagging at me like an old woman. He could give my mother lessons. I can believe that. And you know the worst of it? I still can't get that whole anti-abortion thing out of my head. How can he be impartial as a doctor when his views are so strong? Well, I doubt Reuben would have survived this long if he wasn't impartial. Well, either that or he's never been caught. Something you're not telling me? No, but that doesn't make him any less annoying. Well, one annoying GP is better than handling this whole thing alone. One annoying GP who's about to become an in-law. I wish I'd known all that before I signed him up. <sighs> Sorry to dump on you. It's not your job anymore, I know it. I'm still your business partner. I don't stress, OK? You're opening next week. You don't have time. You're right. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> um, I have lost my office keys and I'm too embarrassed to tell Ribbon. Can I cut a spare set off yours, please? Thank you. Oh! oh I'm, so, I'm so sorry. Staying in your own corner might help with that. What? Tiki is busy. He can't drop everything to help you every five minutes. He figured you out, Brooke, and he didn't like what he saw. Taking swipes at me isn't going to change that. I used to be interesting, you know. Oh, really? Mm, before I became Harry's chauffeur. Mind you, soccer practice and sailing camps, they do have their own special charm. Oh, and novelty restaurants. Did I mention novelty restaurants? Well, I don't believe you, because nobody could be that dull. <laughs> I suppose I do manage to get to a decent restaurant occasionally, the odd night at the theatre. What about you? How do you amuse yourself when you're not working? I always work. I suspected as much. But this year, I've implemented a new rule. Six weeks of non-work. No laptops, no internet, no mobiles, no television. Just me and the twoies just hiding out of my batch. Which is? Up the west coast. Big wild beach. Lots of bush. No people. Won't you get bored? With no cameras or minions or people to terrify? Of course not. It helps me get in touch with my creative side. I sculpt. Oh, 
Which medium do you work in? Metal at the moment. I'm going through this retro modernist phase. Are you familiar with Guy Nan? I am. I love his work. Yeah, please. <laughs> no, it's true. I have a painting of his hanging in one of the bedrooms. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd say that was a cheap ploy to get me back to your place. Is there someone lurking in the wings I should know about? No. Good answer. When you get better, we'll go down home for a while. And you can teach me to ski properly like you promised. I never knew he was a skier. Yeah, well, my brother pretty much had a go at anything. I don't want us to fight, Anita. You're going through hell. I understand that. Watching him hour after hour. Terrified you'll miss some movement or some sign. And that darling, darling man sleeping there so sweetly. He looks so perfect. But he's gone. He's left us. Can you leave, please? What have you got for me? Good news? There are some decisions that need to be made. Are you happy for me to go through them with you now? In a minute. Ben is my partner. I have every right to be here. I'm afraid as Ben's next of kin, it's Anita's call. So then my sound guy managed to convince these angry hordes that we weren't demons born, and then we just hoofed it. You're still here. I thought you'd run off. I should have picked it, you know. Picked what? That you and Isaac are related. It's quite a resemblance. Not that I've noticed. Mm, it's the charm factor. You haven't finished the story. What happened to the cult? Oh, still wearing head scarves and still being crazy. Just found the shower, I see. Mm, and the coffee. Do you want some? Oh. Why has he run up so early? Couldn't sleep. Too many bumps in the night. You're the lady from Dad's work. In the lift? It's me. Are you Dad's girlfriend now? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever considered a career in current affairs? Because you would make a killer interviewer. I'm Ursula. Hi, I'm Harry. Can we have waffles, please? Well, thank you, Janice. It was good to meet you. Likewise. Um, we'll be in touch. Hello, Trouble. I was hoping I'd see you. Hello, you. <laughs> No doubt you've enchanted Sarah with your brilliance. He's hoping. Tremendous girl, Janice. Quite tremendous. And single to boot. How did you find her, by the way? Last year's production of Oklahoma. She was a lorry to my curly. <laughs> Wildly successful run. Can we look forward to seeing more of her around the place? To be honest, I would prefer someone a little warmer. Oh, she's very warm. Well, I'll have to take your word for that. If you're in any way implying that my relationship with Janice is untoward. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Reuben. I did not mean to give you that impression. Well, I hate to say this, Sarah, but you are showing a worrying lack of judgment, both on a personal and a professional level. Well, that was a highly productive meeting. Yes, I'd say we achieved a lot. Although I suspect we may have left some tasks unfinished. Perhaps we should schedule something for later in the day. Mm, I'll have my people call you office. Bye, guys. Bye, Ursula. Toodles. Brilliant work, Dr. Warner. <clears throat> you know, I'm starting to believe that reputation of yours is true. What reputation? Nothing. He's just joking around. No, Harry, your dad's being modest. Have you ever heard of the phrase sly hookup? No. One day you will. And when you do, remember your dad was a high master. Like your cousin Isaac, though, he wasn't allowed to. At least not in the house. I don't get it. Don't even try. He's nuts. No bites. Not even a tiny one. Come on, I've got to get something out of this. Well, you seem to be enjoying the waffles. Ah, well, come on, Harry. Let's get you out of this inappropriate environment before Sifts start knocking. What Sifts? <laughs> Go on, then. Show me what you've got. Oh, it's for the baby. Close your eyes. And open. Cool or what? Oh, it's enormous. That's way too big for a baby. Well, then he or she can grow into it. 
Either way, this is gonna be one styly bub. But check out the label. Did you pay full price for this? Um. We're gonna be poor teenage parents, Dan. If we're gonna spend huge wads of cash, it should be on practical things like bottles and a cot. I know. Yeah. But I scored a freelance job today. And I can't help if I'm really excited about becoming your daddy. I'll spend the rest on nappies across my arm. You have to admit, it's seriously cute. Okay. It's cute. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Paid up, no cause for concern, see? Mate, I've got three teenagers and a husband who's broke. Do I look like I can afford a ticket? Yours? Yeah. Hope you don't think I'm pushing my frame in, but I have a serious allergy to those dickheads. Uh, you're not alone there. I wasn't going to pinch it, if that's what you're thinking. No, no, I'm just so surprised that anyone would be so incredibly decent. Please, you have to let me fix you up for that ticket. Don't worry about it. What goes around comes around and all that. Well, she can't do that. You're Ben's partner. Right. Anita is officially his next of kin. I'm going to take this upstairs and I'm going to end this insanity immediately. It's no use. If Ben and I were married, that would be different, but we weren't. Well, you're the most important person in his life, married or unmarried, on paper or not. Everybody knows that. What's happened? Ben's stupid sister. Officially, she's listed as a next of kin, so she's the only one allowed to make decisions. She's pushed you out. Tell her that she can't do that. I refuse to believe that it's legal. Unfortunately... Oh, well, stuff the rules. We work here, we have access to computer records. No, Gerald, I don't want you to. They'll sack you on the spot. I don't care. Look, let's not do anything drastic, OK? If this sister is a quarter of the person that Ben is, I'm sure she'll figure out what she's doing is wrong. You're right. Just for the record, I'm not stalking you. Really? I was rather hoping you were. <laughs> More shooting today? Just a couple of pickups and the odd stray release design. Oh, don't you worry, you're pretty hued about it. So how about a drink later? Are you free? Yes. But only if you tell me lots more about your sculpture. You know, you never did show me your guy Nan last night. Oh, I was distracted. <laughs> um, a bit of fly. Just uh, text me later. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Poor Yvonne was just standing there, looking as if she was about to cry. Oh, you must have felt sick. Two coffees, thanks. But what could I do? Protocol is protocol. Who cares? Shutting her out like that is beyond cruel. Isn't there something we can do? Getting Anita to accept the inevitable might help. The intensivist went to great lengths to explain that Ben wouldn't recover. Chris did too. But she still won't accept it. Now she gets to make all the decisions over life support. By today, as it happens. Today. I've always wanted one of these. Somehow you don't feel like a real grown-up doctor without one. There's a scratch on mine. Look at this. It's beyond sloppy. Phone them and fix it then. Hello again. Um, damsel in distress in the pay and display zone? Oh, wow. How weird is that? Well, seems you can return the favour sooner than you thought. Point me in the direction of a Dr. Potts. Um, that would be me. Right. I'm officially freaked out now. Wendy Cooper, I'm here about the practice nurse job. Word to the wise. You're up against some rather stiff competition. Just ignore him. I try to. Just take a seat. I think your CV is in here somewhere. Oh, look for the fairly short one. I've been out of the workforce for a bit. Well, away from nursing, at least. Um, home with the kids, I think I remember reading. Three of them. A 22-year-old, a teen, and an almost. Plus, a husband with his own business. Mm, hats off to you. I have an 18-year-old, and he exhausts me. <laughs> I've trained them within an inch of their lives to look after themselves. I'm also doing a postgrad in community health care, but I'm a good juggler. Wow, all this and random acts of kindness. You really are superwoman. Look, I probably don't look that flash on paper, but I'm a good nurse and I love it. I've missed it like you wouldn't believe. 
And if you saw the size of our mortgage, you'll know that when I get a job, I'll do everything I can to hold on to it. Mm. Ripe for exploitation by the sounds of it. This is good. I know what you must have thought. Here we go, another batty old woman in denial. I didn't think that at all. You were going through so much. You were very patient, thank you. I wanted a day's work. Yvonne. What's wrong? This is off the record, but they are pushing Anita to make the call on life support today. That poor girl, she must be beside herself. Never mind her. Are you okay? I've made my peace, but Anita... I don't know whether she's made her decision yet. Then I should go and see her. She shouldn't be alone. You want a buddy? Hi. Hey. <clears throat> don't you run away too. We still have to work together. That's going to be pretty unbearable if we can't at least try to be friends. Yeah, you're right. Is everything okay with Yvonne? How's she doing? Yeah, she's getting there. Get this. Babies are practically blind when they're born, but they can recognize their mum almost right away. <laughs> Am I interrupting? No, no, you're good, man. So, swatting up for fatherhood, eh? Yeah, swatting and working. Man, there's so much stuff we have to buy. I might have to get some extra shifts here and some IT work as well. Oh, don't wear yourself out, bro. You wouldn't enjoy the baby when it comes. True. <laughs> man, this is so cool, huh? At this time last year, would you ever have picked that I'd become a dad? Not with all those lectures I gave you. <laughs> Look, me and Lauren were always super cautious. We even used to sneak condoms from your drawer. Way too much information. <laughs> must have been fake. <laughs> it must have been something. Something smells nice. Oh, I made scones. You want one? No, thanks. I, I just dropped by to say hi. I see. Checking up on me, eh? Yeah, I guess I am. So, how is everything? Are you feeling okay? A bit tired, but mostly really great. <sighs> you know, I should be the one checking up on you. Are you coping with the whole breakup thing? Well, it's different. TK and I are managing to be civil to each other, at least. What about Daniel? He, he seems really excited. About buying the kid a Magda wardrobe, mate. You should see what he bought this morning. So, no regrets? A bit late for that. I mean, you feel as though you've made the right choice. Yeah. For you. I do. I mean, it happened, didn't it? I guess it happened for a reason. I made the right choice. Daniel wanted the baby so much, I don't think I could have gone through with the termination anyway. Well, I am happy to help out in any way that I can, OK? Thanks. Are you sure I can't teach with a the scone? They're real good. Go on, then. If you ever decided to pack in surgery, you'd make a heck of a diplomat. Why? You, Ursula, taking one for the team. Don't be so wussy. I'm trying to say thank you. Endless battles with television networks I do not need. It's just a casual thing. Funny, I could have sworn I saw you cuddling in the cafeteria. And I think it's great. You could do with someone who'll keep you in line. You were right all along, you know, about you and me. Plenty going on, but ultimately the whole thing was doomed. Too much smoke and fire, neither of us could breathe. We did have our moments. You know, if I was ever in a brawl, I'd still want you on my side. Ditto. Looks like we're destined to be buddies. I, I do want you to be happy. Well, me too. You. I think we both deserve it. Good news. You've talked to the engravers about my plaque. Uh, no, I've appointed a practice nurse. Excellent. And when does the lovely Janice begin? <laughs> Not Janice, Wendy. Surely you can't be serious. Her CV is not a patch on Janice's. A stay-at-home mum versus a career nurse is no contest. I think you should reconsider. Hmm. Well, what you think has little, if any, bearing over the way I run my practice, Reuben. Wendy will start with us next week, and I look forward to you treating her with the professional respect she deserves. Well, I certainly hope you're paying her at the lowest rate. She's an experienced nurse, so I'll pay her what she's worth. 
Just like Daniel, she has a family to support. How are you feeling? You must be exhausted. Actually, there's something I thought you should know. Someone mentioned about the life support. I I'm asking them to transfer Ben to Christchurch. He can't stay here any longer. They need his bed. But that's so far away. Are you sure that's the right decision? Yes. Like I said, I thought you should know. a fabulous idea. Let's just drink a bottle of wine, skip dinner, and just go back to yours. <laughs> or if you're sold on the idea of dinner, that's fine. It's probably good that you build up some reserves. Ursula. Why do I feel as though I've done something wrong? You haven't. It's me. Of course. It's not me, it's you. No need for an explanation then. Have I just been reading this wrong? Only I I thought we had this fantastic spark. We do. But you're not looking for a relationship. I still have feelings for someone else. Strong feelings. I thought it was over a long time ago. So it's come as a bit of a shock. Pity. I think I'll skip on the wine, thanks. Probably none of my business, but it's usually not a good sign when your date runs for the door. She dumped me. What did you do? Nothing. Well, I don't know. What, two minutes ago, you were all over each other? Well, yeah, it was just a one-nighter. That's all she wanted. You're fibbing to me. You've got that look on your face, I can always tell. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> just leave it, Rachel. Later tonight, the three remaining contestants in MasterChef Ireland are being mentored by and then grilled by an award-winning South African Grand Chef at 8.30 here on RTE1. Stay with us now for Doctors. <laughs>